When I worked at a movie theater, I saw a poster with the strangest credit for screenwriting ever. On Lethal Weapon 3, the credit read, Story by Jeffrey Bohm. Screenplay by Jeffrey Bohm and Jeffrey Bohm and Robert Mark Kamen. I thought this was weird. Why is the same guy getting credit three times in a row? This comes down to the union, the Writers Guild of America, and how they do credits. According to the WGA handbook, when a credit is accorded to a team of writers, an ampersand, the and symbol, shall be used between the writers' names in the credit to denote a writing team. Use of the word and between writer's name and a credit indicates that the writers did their work separately, one usually rewriting the other. This distinction is well established in the industry through custom and practice. So this means that Jeffrey Bone came up with the main plot points of Lethal Weapon 3, the story by credit, then wrote a draft by himself, the first screenplay by credit, then did a collaborative draft writing with Robert Mark Kamen, then using the ampersand. And when there is basically a single writer on a movie, the credit would read, written by. If someone comes up with the storyline or the plot, they would get a story by credit. Whoever writes the screenplay from there gets the screenplay by credit. And FYI, early copies of the poster for Lethal Weapon 3 removed Robert Mark Kamen's writing credit entirely, and it simply said, written by Jeffrey Bohm. So what that means is that the other writer took the credits to arbitration at the WGA, where a panel reads the various drafts and contributions by different writers and determines who will receive on-screen credit for writing the movie.